Hey, man, it's T. Sean, Baseball Card Theater. Tonight we're looking at eight crappy cards. Starting off strong with Dizzy Trout. Dude, wonderful name. It's a reprint of a 1953 card. The glasses, and they're kind of throwing a shadow. Gap tooth, dorky look. Yeah, man, this is a crappy card, which, of course, makes it memorable, which makes it kind of cool. Up next, Dave Henderson kind of sliding and kind of not catching the ball. This is from Leaf92, I think. Look at his face. Ooh. Yeah, that's pretty crappy. From 1979, it's Tim Corcoran. And this swing, it looks like he's in a Broadway play. I'm hitting the ball. I'm jogging around the bases. It's a home run. Yeah, that's a dorky looking pose. That's a crappy card. Here's former Governor Jerry Brown of the Athletics. Any card that could be captioned, Eek, a mouse, is a crappy card. From 1973, check out Luis Alvarado. Okay, kind of wonderful card. You got the uh, muscle cars in the background. This is a city park. I don't know where they took this picture. And I read somewhere where this may or may not be Lewis. It's hard to tell because he has his back to the camera and a giant 38. Don't know who's on first base. Again, a wonderfully intriguing card, but kind of crappy if you're Lewis Alvarado. Okay, here's one from Upper Deck 1990. It's Jumping Jack Armstrong. You want to talk about the stupidest exercise ever, jumping jacks. Were they still doing them in night? I know they did them in World War II. But, oh, that makes a crappy card. I'll tell you that much. Here's another one from Upper Deck 1990. It's Bill Buckner. And, dude, you know what? Piss this card pisses me off because it's got the big hole in between Bill Buckner's leg. First of all, the photographer who took this was some probably unathletic pussy who'd never played sports in his life, and he thought he was so cute. And don't get me wrong, I'm an unathletic pussy. I did play sports, though. But, hey, I just know better than to embarrass someone who's much bigger than me. Bill Buckner's a man. What is he, like 6'1", two bills? Yeah, he could have beat the shit out of the photographer. And then also the guys over at Upper Deck who thought, that, hey, man, this would be a great card, smug little turds who never got that character building beating as a child. Fuck those guys. I like Bill Buckner. Get off his balls. Okay, and our last crappy card is from 1956. Jerry Lynch, catcher for the Pirates. Okay, this is a gorgeous card. Nice portrait, but then when you look at the picture, Jerry's getting screamed at by the umpire who's ringing him up. Yo! I think this is a wonderful card. But if I'm Jerry Lynch, I'm probably thinking, This is a crappy card! True, but it's also the reason I'm talking about your card 70 years later. Okay, that's this episode of Baseball Card Theater. I am T-Sean. I showed you eight crappy cards. Till next time, peace! <laughs>